Okay, guys, I'm here today with Harry Aikens, huge honor for me. Guys, Harry is the third American black belt from Hickson Gracie, and he was the head instructor of the Hickson Gracie HQ, the school in California, from 2000 to 2008. He was also one of the main instructors of Chrome Gracie, uh, when he was winning everything as a purple belt and black belt and submitting everybody, and he got every single belt from Hickson Gracie. So... You're probably one of the people who spend the most hours with Hicks on Yeah, right I was there. so blessed to be like in, in yeah. the right place during the right time, yeah. right? While well, he was still very active and he was still fighting and teaching a lot. And so, um, yeah, man, it was it was a blessing to be, you know, learn directly yeah. underneath him. And the main thing was, was for me, was really getting to feel what he did, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. Like for me, I always tell people like Hickson is the best teacher in the world when he can put his hands on you and you can yeah. feel it. And that's why, you and know, he's so... So, so 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 uh, so so few people had the opportunity. I had I never had the opportunity. And one of the, I think it's the Jiu Jitsu dream. One of the Jiu Jitsu dreams is to yeah, train for It's on everybody's that. bucket list. Every, yeah. Almost every Jiu Jitsu guy is yeah. like, especially the old school guys that really yeah. understand the history and know and heard the the stories. Right. Yeah. Um, it's like on everyone's bucket list. So yeah, I was so fortunate. And what's cool is I got to see like Fabio Gogel, Shanji, Solo, Fabio Leopoldo, yeah. uh, Gabriel Vela, all the guys that would come and train, yeah. uh, you know, um, Jamalo, yeah, uh, yeah. Terere, oh, like all the guys, yeah. Margarita, like all those guys that would come and, and train with Hickson. So it was pretty, pretty awesome. Yeah, no, that's that's like, I think that's the Jiu Jitsu dream. But anyways, guys, today, uh, Henry's is going to show us here probably like the most efficient way to drill the shrimp let's put it like that right the most yeah. efficient way to do because everybody learns how to do the hip escape or the shrimp like lift your hip hip escape and do that across the mat mm -hmm. right you guys did that very different and uh so can you show like how to put the weight and yeah it's 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 not just a way of of like being efficient but the goal is like when we're doing the shrimp right there's a purpose for it it's a very very important movement so it's not just the ability to move my hip but what the shrimp does is it helps me to get on my side so yep. if you notice like when we're shrimping right we're doing something like this i have my foot close to my butt right and i'm going to move my hip and the goal is like when i lift my hip off the ground all the weight goes to my opposite shoulder yep and we end up on our side yeah right and so one of the main things that we use this for is a lot of times when we're in the bottom of the cross side and yep. we need to get out right so no you know one of the things that instructors always say hey when you get stuck on the bottom get to your side get to your side get to your side yep right and so if i can get to my side i can it's easier for me to insert my knee yeah. it's easier get to, your side, right? yep. to go to my right and so the idea is can i get to my side can i use this movement to get to my side even when there's an incredible amount of pressure yep. on my shoulder and so the way we do that is one of the drills that we do is yeah you can hold my shoulder down and you can use two hands and get a good grip, walk your feet back, good. And so now you're using all your weight, plus you're using your legs. Yeah. So with one leg, I plant my foot on the ground, and what I'm gonna do is I transfer all the weight from my leg, man, that's crazy, into my shoulder, yeah. so that I can still get to my side. So you see in one movement, even with you, yeah. you're a big guy, you're probably 220, 230, yeah. holding me down. So the benefit of it is to, it's a way to train your shrimp and hipscape to make it as powerful. Yeah. And and if your hipscape gets really powerful, gets really efficient, you're well, gonna be able to get out of a bunch of bad positions. Nobody can hold you down. Yeah. Man, right. that's amazing. So that's the thing is, the way that most people think about it is, I need to, when they're on the bottom of the cross side, is trying to turn to their side, Yeah. right? When we actually have this tool, which is the shrimp or the hip escape, that's the tool that we actually need to use to get to our side. So if you're holding my shoulder down, or if I have all this weight on me, and I try to just turn my body. Yeah, there's no way. There's no way. So what do you do? So what I do is I actually push you with my leg, but the energy you comes from here. Leg? Yeah, so look, I don't even put this foot on the ground. I can do it with one okay. leg, right? Yeah. So I put my foot on the ground, and do you feel yeah. Yeah. when I push, it goes into my shoulder? Yeah. So it's like, what's the wrong way and what's the right way again? So the wrong way, a lot of times people just try to turn. Okay. And so the, okay. Okay. the upper body and the lower body okay. are disconnected. So they're trying to turn over here? Yes, they're trying to turn doing this way okay. without, with, there's a disconnect between the upper body okay. and lower body. Okay. So what I do is when I put my foot on the ground, all the energy drives into my shoulder. So go stand up and hold me down. 
Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. You, that's see how I, you see how I throw you back? Yeah. You feel yeah. like you're getting thrown. Yeah. Now imagine if someone's on the mall and you're doing the open, if someone's in side control and you're... Right, and so yeah. like one of the escapes that we use that for, the mount escape, one of the escapes that Hickson uses a lot is the same thing where he connects the hand and he does this. And this, this movement is crazy strong. Now it transfers all the weight to the person. So yeah. they literally, if you're mounted on top of him, if he connects his hand to your hip, and he does this movement, you literally feel like you're getting thrown into the wall. You, you well, get launched it's off. It's mind blowing because man, we are in 2022 uh -huh. and I had never learned that. And you can use that as a warm up for Jiu Jitsu class, as, as a technique for Jiu Jitsu class, right? Yeah, it's a very, and people don't understand how powerful that movement is. Yeah. If you understand how to transfer the energy from your leg to your shoulder. Yeah, no, that's, that's really amazing. And you can literally do that at home, ask your, yeah, your ask wife your to hold your shoulder and uh, no, that's, that, that's incredible. Maybe start with your little kid first and then you yeah, can yeah, work yeah, your yeah. way up to like, a, yeah. you know, Bernardo size. So instead of turning, place the foot on the ground yes. and lift, the, use so, the leg to lift the hip. Exactly. So that, so you want to get used to that, okay. like driving with your leg through your shoulder, not trying to turn. I got it. And so you know that this movement allows me to be able to get to my side and then if i want to get to my knees i can get to my knees you got it. man that's okay. that's incredible and guys uh henry has a ton of instructional videos at bjjfanatics.com where he teaches all this hidden secret strong jiu-jitsu that he learned from hicks on gracie and they make sure to check that out at bjj fanatics there's instructions about every type of subject you can imagine and uh, thanks so much, Harry. That was thanks, amazing. Bernardo. That was incredible. I never saw that, and uh, I'm gonna start doing that. I'm gonna use that as a warm up for classes. And uh, awesome, it's yeah. powerful. It's it's uh, so yeah. It's basically how, you know the the main way that we should be shrimping is like, can you do it under pressure? Yeah. Everything oh, else I, in jujitsu is tested under pressure. Yeah. Why not that? Oh, I really really love it. Make sure to check that out, guys. BJFX.com. All structures from Harry. All these hidden details that you probably don't know that I didn't know. And now we know. Now yeah, you know. Thank you, Harry. Thanks for now. Thank you. Please help me out to grow my YouTube channel. Just click subscribe. And to watch more videos, just click under see more videos. I hope you enjoyed. BJJFanatics.com. Use the promo code YouTubeFaria to get 10% off any instructional video. Improve your jujitsu faster.